What's up guys? This is the Rove Malaya back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to round off about last time, we have defended Athens yet again from two Ottoman stacks and we are now engaging their forces in the open field to try and carve away towards Damascus. And it's tempting to see if I can do... No, I should have done some merging and stuff beforehand. Um, however, I will be trying to abuse my artillery because I have more of it than them and it should be a bit better. And we've got lots of troops heading our way, so my idea would be to try and um, maintain defensively, which will mean uh, taking it safe, not taking too many risks, because ultimately I don't want to die. I don't want to lose this army, because it's been there since the since the start, more or less. I mean, some of it hasn't, but my, the risk is if I keep sitting back... Oh, and this is a lovely position... Okay, so I'm probably going to sit back here to maintain. Because the problem is this hill. So I want to sit a bit further back so I've got more exposed. Well, they've got their more exposed for a certain amount of time trying to reach my position. So if I do this, and then I'll put you there. Then let's deploy... these three weak units first because they'll all should be fairly similar in depth and let's deploy two units of conscripts on the wings I'm probably going to want to deploy let's deploy a fairly strong left wing then let's put a unit of a guards, engineers, sorry, back here. Fireball off. Cavalry here. General here. Whoa, radio. Okay, you move over here rapidly. You guys unlimber. Because it would appear they are coming from over here. Redeploy your guns. Move up my infantry. Don't necessarily redeploy this wing. But I'll probably draw my cavalry back and bring bring my conscripts back. You guys you foot guards need to run and spin around. Place stakes, you and limber. Not a great position for artillery, but I'll take it. You need to focus fire their organ gun. You and limber. They deployed out into a massive line. Not a great position. Okay. Focus fire that unit of Mamelukes that are charging right at you. Arm shot their artillery. Their camels will die on the spears. Let's 
put a native unit on the flank. To be honest, I'm still probably going to want these guys out here actually to roll up. Roll up this flank so I can redeploy my troops. And more to company. You want to go for them. Shot the camel nomads because you now have no protection. Pick your bloody guns back up. Perfect. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Run down there. You limber up. Let's get my general over here to provide a bit of morale boost. Fellahina charging in. Couldn't really do much else. Three, all move up, engage, the, engage those guys, you guys swarm the pikes and you guys should win. them just keep just keep going charge into the musketeers just go actually you get into that mameluke unit otherwise you guys are screwed so you guys charging that big combat it's gonna be turning into a bit of a mess let's 
throw you guys into the combat and then it's start to mix position you guys correctly you guys start doing round shot and lobbing it to the back of their infantry this is probably not going to go super well But when the combat's going, you can either get in or get out, you know. Let's get my general to go snipe some of their artillery. Around over here. Pull you guys back. Pull you guys back. Yeah, they're not going to do so well. extricate some of my units run my general away oh they could already be dead case then you guys need to just effectively sit here and just get ready to face whatever comes through off of the battlefield. These guys need to just get ready to open fire on whoever they can. You I should never have limbered you up. Turn around and just open fire. Good, we're shooting them to bits. shot the Janissaries, but now we've got some support. Come on, just deploy. Let's throw the guards in, the engineers in, sorry.
Who are you? Feline Musketeers. Goons, they've lost their general. It's got to be a good thing. Smash my general into that unit of Feline Musketeers. It's artillery up on the hill. It's hitting that Janissary unit. Need to also come around here in double time and join in. Okay, just you then. They weren't going, the noise wasn't being made. Artillery on the hill, hit the hillmen, bring these guys around. To charge them in. These guys especially will be useful because they're charging to the rear. So these guys will be surrounded. Ah, oh, of course they've come back. You've got them surrounded. should be shooting at them instead. Once you bring them around here, ready to intercept these chaps. Just finish off these chaps, that would be lovely. There you go, everyone get up, get into position. No, it's not a great position. Now, boom, they're wavering. already quite badly mauled, so just have them. They're already rather upset. Absolutely continue. Pull everybody back. 
the best way this ends is by me doing as much damage to them as possible. And then effectively sieging their territory and then just wait for them to sally out. Because they should be more mauled than we are. I mean they will get garrison forces so they might, we might have to play off a, play a bit by ear how much we actually do. What we actually do in terms of time exactly but it's very nice of them. Oh no he's going to get away. Shame. That got very, very... But it was a nice victory. So I might have to do a bit of merging. Yeah, we lost much more, many, many more men than I would ever have liked. And we could just go in and take it, but... I'd probably like to at least move these conscripts up to try and uh, support them. So pull... Okay, hold on. One thing that might be cool to do is actually start to do some merging, because lots of these guys, they can actually merge and maintain their experience. So this guy of four, he's gone in and fed lots of units. I'd rather feed you into... well, you're already fed. Feed you into you. Feed my gun batteries together. And I'll go in, and then I've got this unit of very experienced infantry, but I may as well do that. Then I've got some guard battalions that are very, very elite. So my army is much smaller, but it's much more veteran. Let's do that. Because the problem is when you recruit new units, it's, it, it dilutes their experience anyway, so you don't have to worry too much about making sure, you know, you know, I've lost veteran scene, so that was going to happen regardless. Um, cool. And then did our, our theft failed, so... Try again. And hit end turn. Because that was a very bloody battle. They may get back into Damascus and garrison it, which is, is okay. It's not, not the worst thing in the world. Um, but I would like it because it's making a good chunk of money and it's probably, it'll probably add, add to my income by about 25% so it's not even a case of it's not even a case of you know, oh this this lad, this will make a bit of money, it's quite a useful region nah, to us it's a valuable region opportunity to intercept well I may as well we lost way too many men for that but it stops them from getting back to the city. No, oh, they've made it, but... We will siege it, and we will garrison. We will resupply. It's a question, do I resupply my units or recruit more? And I think the answer is probably resupply. Well, depending on how our money situation looks, because I may... My army may be so small now that I can actually afford to do... Okay, they're coming in, they're coming in. So are they recruitments or are they... No, I don't think they're recruitments. Oh, perfect. Another you fresh unit. Very depleted army. Yes, he's managed to steal that technology. And then let's go for... Selective breeding. So now our finances are a bit healthier, probably because one of our trade partners has opened up his ports. Nope, it must just purely be from that bonus. Let's try to run him all the way over here. Yep, yeah, you're a bit grumpy, but you know you're starting to make some town wealth. Cairo is making a good amount of money. Religious unrest is about to go completely. Path blocked by someone. I'm tempted to besiege them just to stop whatever recruitment they've got going on. 
but then the next battle will be super critical but I'd like to think I've done lots of damage and they've not got any artillery so I might maintain siege force them to come out and then let's hit end turn again and see if they do come out because they've just got their mortar so I'll deploy back to avoid the mortar um, and hope my firepower and canister shot is enough to do to do the business it's a hell of a gamble I've got to remember my my Athens garrison isn't even replenished yet so once I capture or if I capture Damascus I need to play it safe spend my money wisely to reinforce the armies I've got on the field and to spend the money on upgrading my I'm um, primarily upgrading Cairo to build the happiness buildings to get the public order to allow me to build a school to get more ports oh yeah and some oh <gasps> oh thank god oh oh sweet jesus I thought they were thought they were coming for me I thought they were going to go they were going to land on Cairo <gasps> yes I do want to take this opportunity because I can maul them even more and the mortars aren't even a factor. Yes, I will take this opportunity to intercept. This means it gives me well, it gives me a good opportunity to do some damage to them. And it'll mean their garrison won't be won't be a garrison anymore. It means I certainly won't be able to assault it, almost regardless of whatever garrison they've got, because that mortar's the, the, the morale damage they have on my doing any direct city assaults okay oh yes perfect this is exactly what we want so let's deploy our bare bones units who they may as well stuck in with them get stuck in with their muskets three is about right i think that's what i usually like to see Mm, this is my stronger flank. I'm probably going to want all my guns in one spot. Yeah, a bit deep, but that's okay. So you're deployed. Let's deploy. Colonial line of the guards. Let's get ready to drop a conscripts on the right. Let's hold a conscripts in reserve. Let's hold a pikes in reserve. So those are my reserves. These, this conscript is joining that flank. Cavalry is going to stay up here with my general. So someone's coming on the extreme left flank. But get some nice cheap artillery kills from long range, which is just perfect. And to be honest, I might want to do something like that. Firstly, let's get you to deploy your stakes. I'm probably going to want to deploy you rather than keep you in reserve. Go for these camel nomads because they're annoying. And these guys have the possibility to run straight up to my cannons and do some real damage, which obviously I don't want them to do. Excellent shot. Let's retarget because they're getting a bit close, and let's pick their biggest unit of musketeers. Oops, sound bug. The camel nomads are routing. These guys are probably going to get. Oh no, my artillery's still shooting at them. Well, it's doing the business, so I'm not going to complain. I do see you, camels. There's only 28 of you, though, so. Let's 
I'm going to keep just shooting at the Mamelukes, and if they're going to stay there and be a nice juicy target, and to be honest, let's just slightly pivot you back, if they're going to insist. Ooh, I saw the splash of red from the Musketeers. Eight, ca eight camels they've lost. That? Eleven. And they're gone. So let's bring you back into the fold. Let's beat the time a little bit. At least until... At least until their troops start to actually get into the... Into the field of fire of my troops. There we go. So these Janissaries are going to start hitting my line. The third regiment of foot. It's going to engage. It seems silly firing canister at such. Tears. Oh, good. Oh, this, these are some of the direct garrison troops coming in. Islamic swordsmen, hand mortars, oh, and populace. If that all the garrison is, then I will be... I'll take that. Now you go for them, you go for them. shot and start hitting the camel nomads. Oh no, they did come back. Because these guys will switch to engage the Janistry Musketeers, so then I can then get you guys to do round shot onto those Musketeers. You can fire canister at them speed up time a little bit actually. Let's do round shot of the author. Come on nomads being sneaky sneaks. Let's bring the pikes down. to do round shots and to hit those Islamic swordsmen because they're the ones to worry about. Oh no, don't run away from my pikes. Oh, and you ran in front of my spikes as well. Oh yeah. Pull these chaps back. Camels are done. Nope. Hope to be back. You go into the line. 
Then we wait for these chaps to get here while we pound them with artillery. This is Arm Populous, Hand Mortar Company, and Camel Nomads. So we absolutely want to thin down the Islamic swordsmen before they get near us because their morale's probably not that bad. The hand mortars, actually, you're dangerous enough to justify shooting at as well. Well, maybe they might be better focusing on the big target. General behind. Waiting for the general to get into position. So we're just gonna keep just keep on engaging because we can't run out, we're not gonna run out of ammo. Engaged canister canister shot. And let's also start to pull this unit around here. As the camel's taking the brunt, the general's been shot in the opening salvo. Swordsmen are routing. Hand mortars. Well, you guys need to re re reload rapidly. Oh, some of the damn. Sneaky, sneaky garrison troops. So if you guys don't reload, these guys are going to make you pay. Okay, all my artillery, round shot, hit those irregular troops. There's no point running away, actually. Just move up. Okay, now you guys go back to hitting the swordsmen. The swordsmen are routed. The gunners and hazards. Round shot. Hit him with that. Spin the guns around. Off you go. Engage. Ah. Oh, fire. Near miss. And they're done. Good, good. Nice bit of damage done to them. I think we've not lost that many troops. Heroic victory. Could you make, uh, should it? I was far too keen there. Um, but yes, they only have 500 m remaining. So they're gone. They've retreated. So, by the looks of it, with some of the money I need, I have, I need, well, that African garrison unit, um, I'll send Jerusalem, I need to send them, well, I was going to send them to join my army attacking Damascus, but I need to send them to hit Jerusalem. Your home region has been blockaded by an enemy fleet. Eh. Whilst this is in place... Turns out my economy doesn't depend that much on trade from Cairo. Should you go in here? Probably where these guys are going to head, so you recruit some units yourself. Just two will do. Um, do you want to? Yes, because it's just going to be a guaranteed win. Success! And what I may attempt to do is for now. France, Sweden, Mexico. Eh. So they're de depleted, they're depleted. I 
do like to do this, I must admit. Don't bother repairing. Replenish the armour you've got. Oh, you can't... Oh, yeah. So I didn't do. That's caps lock, that's why. So what have people got? Carpet weavers... Corn plantation, trade porch. Make sure there's no angry things people want to stop. I mean, they don't like my religion, but they soon will. Yeah, that's frustrating. There's nothing at all I can do about that. And then I'm going to want to do this. Just to get some more replenishment on the go. Good. His reputation is going to be in tatters. It was you. Okay, so now we have Damascus. What's that done to our financial situation? We've got to about 4,000. Um, we are going to need to chase down and kill some of these units. Unless I go for peace with the Ottomans. But will they go for it? Peace and trade. How about that? Wow. And they're friendly. Huh. Okay, Mamelukes. You're my next target. Indifferent. We cannot trade. Well, we can't trade because of... You are still a rubbish level 1 port. But we are at peace. And we're earning 5,000 a turn. Right, so we're going to spend... Yeah, well, I'm on 42 minutes. I mean, okay, so I want to make... I want to start getting into a habit of making... Um, sometimes just playing on if I'm in the mood. So I'm actually... Because right now I'm not going to do any attacking. Um, I may as well round this one up to an hour. And spend some time um, doing some upgrades. Because we've had some good battles. Um, I've captured a city. So it would probably be useful now to do a bit of... Um, not admin exactly, but you know... A bit of building, a bit of upgrading, a bit of strengthening, and figure out what my next target's going to be. It's probably going to be the Barbary States, I would think. I'm assuming the Ottomans will not... It won't take long for the Ottomans to declare on me. Um, again, because, I don't know, they, it, they'll, they'll turn on me. No. They will turn on me, and that's and that's okay. Um, I'm not super wedded to that. It's the Moroccans. Good, they're going to help protect my ports. Good on them. Because one, so if if you're a major power, you can afford to break your own trade. You can afford to have alliance penalties because you, you're because you're powerful enough to not have to worry and need to get on with people. But because I am a minor nation, I am going to need to get on with people, and because I don't have any, I mean, I've got cotton now, but uh oh. Well, let's just because they could just turn on me immediately. But if they, even if they do, then I'll still take the one turn of full trade. I'll still take the the brief window where I get max economy from my side. There is a port in this region that is not Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, first and foremost, let's repair the barracks. Magistrate, conservatorium, cannon foundry, upgrade my frontier towns. Good. You ah, uh, you can replenish. Actually, where is Damascus? I want to cancel the cannon foundry because I want to get the ball rolling on a theatre to help offset the school. Come on, there we go. Okay, so you're yeah you are a bit of a concern about why you've why you've come back. Um, but either way. Like I said, I'll take the, the breathing space. 
that, and I'll get a reasonable garrison from Cairo by the looks of it. But Gar Cairo is not um, protected because I just don't have the money. Let's upgrade, uh, build a build a light galley to occupy the port. Am I okay? Because I can't. Okay, I am going to want to trade out of Damascus. So if I do that, because you don't need it, strictly speaking, yet. No, actually, it's pretty broken. So I want to get, I want to get this uh, cotton plantation connected to the wider network. Because it's unfortunate I can't get you, the Mamelukes, in, but they're a they protectorate. So now, if I go to war with them, then I'm at war with the Mamelukes as well. Persians are allied with the Marathas. Well, I certainly don't want to push eastwards. Because Istanbul would be nice, because you can three grand out of that. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they immediately turn on me, which if they did, that's not too bad of a thing, because they will start getting technological... No, they'll start to get trade penalties, and it will mean that I will be able to... I'll be at war with them and they'll be the ones paying for it in terms of all the AI mechanics and things like that. Which would be super duper useful. So let's see how things fall out. The French sailed all that way to intercept. Is that Savoy? And just <laughs> they just lost their ships. Okay, Morocco, come and take out that Ottoman for army. Oh no, they might actually be sending it. Oh, they might be going up against the Austrians. But either way, I will take a few turns of peace. Because we did need that breathing space to kind of collect ourselves and go right. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Hey, I can't. Oh, there it is. It's on Cyprus. Oh. I guess the first priority is this. Because when this is done and this is done, I can afford to build you up to college. I can repair this trading port and get Damascus back online doing good stuff then I'll probably upgrade you to a naval dockyard on Cyprus. Limassol will become my first Greek shipyard you're all punishing you're all quite elite now um, and what's your infrastructure? bad. So I'm going to want to do some infrastructure spending and repair you Okay, so you're now on seed drill. Well, in lieu of anything else useful, because I could do with getting a military academy. Out of, ooh, is that Marines? Yes, it is. To at least upgrade like things like new model bayonet drill to upgrade the combat efficiency of my troops. But when you're doing a few turns of a few high-end high end turn to turnover uh, to get that money and thing money to get things built so i think the next thing i'll do is build cobble, cobbled roads for palestine and uh, syria to help with trade and to help with a bit of mutual defense and mutual support between the, the cities so i do think my only real option is to head westward yeah i bet you're a bit unhappy now because you're probably going to get declared on by the Ottomans. And you actually look fairly weak. I'm fairly sure it said they were meagre. And it looks like the French are doing a stonking good job. So do I go back up and retake Sarajevo? The answer's probably no. Because it's a bit of a... It'd be a bit out and exposed and... 
it's, I know it's not border gore, but at the same time I don't want armies and outposts to be too isolated. Yeah, still trying to steal my tech. Don't know where they need to, because they're probably much more advanced than I am. Considering I went for a few turns without having any school at all. And they've got, they'll have one in Istanbul. No. 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 Don't think I want to get involved and pick a side in that army, in that problem, that battle just yet. There is a port in this region that is. Yes, yes, yes. First priority roads. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't really. There's not much point in upgrading my church school yet. I mean, it will help with happiness. It says. Plus four happiness for orthodox populations, so they will start to really like me. No, not yet. Um, so you're two turns away. Well, I think it means I might actually be able to buy this. And not be able to do anything else except build this port. But I don't really want to build this port. Upgrade this fishing fleet. A bit of population growth and a bit of wealth. I'll take it. Hammer in turn again. Or I could just formally declare war with the Ottomans again, once I'm ready. Just build a, put up an army next to their border and then recontinue hostilities. Because what they don't like is when you... Well, I don't know, they don't like... People don't like it when you break treaties. But to be honest, I'm, I'm going to find precious few allies. But I would be declaring on the Mamelukes as well. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to end up recruiting a small army and go west and try and secure some of the territories in North Africa. There is unused land suitable for plant. Yes, I know. You want me to build plantations. Okay, so you're about to make people super duper unhappy. So I probably will want to build a monastery. And then you're not going to get that. Damascus is going to get roads first because it earns more money. You're probably going to get a governor's residence. Probably. Still converting away. El Act will grow in seven turns. I think it's a. I think the industrial building there is a pottery studio. Oh, my minister says a mistress. Classic. Who are you? Oh, you're the chap I didn't really have a place for. Plus one for treasury. Plus one. Uh, okay, you're pretty. Good. Well, you're pretty good, but I don't know if you're better than him. Okay, let's do the net my numbers. So he's five, six, seven, eight, in theory. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. In theory, he's better than this guy. But I don't want to risk it. But what else is he good for? He's good at the well, To be honest, all my ministers are pretty good. Unless they're super stand out, then I don't really think I'm going to mess around with it. I'm not really a min maxer. Anyway, enter. Like, I'm not bothered about the, the best solution to do something. I'm bothered about the. You know, is it good? Is it good? Are my ministers good? Yeah, my ministers are pretty good. There's no standout um, gaps or failures or problems so I don't really think I'm gonna worry about he's got a big army but they've got no wealth 
So even we're, we're moderate and they're meagre. So they are running a big deficit. If I can push westwards across North, Af North Africa, then it will mean I could start to expand into a colonies, into the colonies, and pick up pick up some Caribbean islands and then some some trade, produce some goods. If the good, take your armies back. I don't want wedge formation. Mamluks, they're arming up. That has not yet been developed. They are arming up, unmistakably. Question is, do I fortify Damascus and then say, right, I'm going to defend Damascus to the death? Okay, let's get governor's residence, get an opera house, get an opera house. Let's upgrade cover roads. Poland Lithuania has been destroyed. A new nation rises at Westphalia. Because the French are doing a pretty, pretty good job. Yeah, Vienna, Hungary, Croatia. See, if we took Sarajevo, it'd open up a border with me and the... Me and the French. But do the French like us? They're indifferent. Let's see, why don't we just peace? Just peace. I don't want to give you territory. Okay. So you're done two turns, you're done two turns. Okay, and turn. Mm -hmm. But then the problem if I take Sarajevo, well, like I said, as I said before, I'm, I'm just rambling now. If I took Sarajevo, there'd be an outpost in the middle of nowhere, and I'd be in a real pickle when it came to actually. Well, I have to spend a lot of money to defend Sarajevo if I want to keep it and to defend Athens. I could capture it, then kind of leave it undefended, but it's just asking for someone to come in and take it really easily. And do I want to bother taking it if I'm just going to let it, if I'm just going to give it up? I suspect the answer is no. So I probably won't do it. It'd be cool to take Morocco, but it opens up a border with Spain, and Spain will eventually want to, to take it. It does give me that access to the to the open sea. <laughs> They're worried. They're worried about their borders, because they're recruiting new troops, and you can see that it's all going uh, northwest. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So okay, okay, don't panic, don't panic. So let's do get you over here. Can I leave? I can. Perfect. I very well appreciate all this could do is just change their direction. They could then just sail somewhere else and attack, but... Oh no, damn it, I cancelled building that. Some of my colonial infantry units to hold Beirut. I 
Okay. 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 So let's do. Hmm. They're quite nice and cheap things to do. Ten percent wealth generated by farms. Oh no, that's the technology. The wine estate is what I want. Pop growth, region wealth. Get a bit grumpy because the machines are taking their jobs. Probably want to do that as well. But they're not that got that good of a navy. Got some quite experienced fourth rates, but. Okay, let's take... Oh yeah, because I lost one of you, didn't I? So let's do... Let's do that. No, actually, you'll... Well, if they're not going to be recruited. Ooh! Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. I'll recruit one of you. Good, and he's 32, so he's not going to... Minus 5% army campaign movement rate. So he's great at fighting the Ottomans, but <laughs> he slows down. Lots of... Well, he's a very good commander. Very good. Okay. This could be where we all get back onto a normal footing and we end up at war with the Ottomans again. But if I can use my ships to keep moving my army around... It will stop them from getting the jump on me too much. See, a navy would be useful at this point. Because if I had a reasonable navy, I could at least hold my own and keep them away from my coast. But there's not very really a lot I can do about that, is there? Well, I can build a navy, but don't really have the money. Because they don't really you they don't really move armies like that to your coast for no reason. And if they stay there, then my army stays there. Simple as that. Oh good. They are definitely 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 going to attack. Because this guy's building up his armies. Well then, boys. Okay, I think I think what I gamble with is building, a, spending a few turns without building, to get either a, a fort in Cairo to defend it with a troop with an army like Athens, or well, I think that's all I do. If I think a new army is coming. Okay, we've got a new college and lots of buildings in Cairo. So instead of doing that... Oh no, you're not. Am I building a new military barracks? No, I'm not. Well, I can't really afford to. Okay, let's get some... A couple of 12-pounders and that army would be probably pretty much... Pretty much call that done. So you're not terribly unhappy you'd still be plus 10 you're very yeah religious happiness is excellent good 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 maybe in palestine in palestine is where i start to build up a build up an army no that wasn't the plan the plan was to garrison well the plan was to build up a garrison okay okay end turn this will probably be my last end turn, because I've overrun an hour now. What I should have done is cancelled my infrastructure building in Syria, because now they've got better roads to move towards me and attack from. But if the Mamluks attack me, all that'll mean is that I'll push on and capture Baghdad. 
But I'd very much like it if the Moroccans took out that Ottoman navy. That'd be brilliant. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, they're definitely getting an army on the march. There is a port in this region. Nope, not even going to entertain it. So if I hold off one more town, I can build a build walls in Damascus and I can send gradually send troops over there to fortify it one more turn I don't want to spend any money build up a bit of a war chest and then let's build walls in Damascus and then then I can start to sh shuffle troops around and do a bit of what I've been doing in Athens and you know withstand oh come on Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Don't pirate. But yeah, I, I, I expect them to declare. I expect them to declare. They're, they, they, they want to capture my territories too much to stay peaceful for that there long. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Stop it. Walls. And so it begins. Another fortress town, because they are going to fancy... Oh, that's Muhammad Ali. Uh, they are going to fancy their chances, and they're probably they're like the Ottomans, but just not as good, but still. If I took Baghdad, well, effectively, this is, this is a very big front, so I'd end up wanting to have... If we could build a bit of a garrison in Damascus, and then, which turns into another army, I could send one up to Ankara and have cause problems up here, one to go east. Then I'd want a garrison at Cairo. Yeah, they're, they're... Yeah. As we developed in three turns, but that's not so bad. So that makes it cheaper to build farms and plantations. Not a massive problem. Not a massive gain, but nothing else is really... <gasps> Say nothing else is really... <gasps> this is worth doing, because it gets me new ports. That's it. Um, but yeah, now I've quite wildly overran my plan... Well, not wildly. I've overran my plan of an hour, so... Yeah, I think this was quite successful. So the plan for the next uh, parts will be to build up my garrison in Syria, in um, Damascus. Watch what these guys do. Um, upgrade Limassol to be a shipyard and start to mess around with some ships. But yeah, just keep an eye on what these sneaky Ottomans are doing. Because, oh god, that's a lot of Janissary musketeers. Light infantry riflemen. Ugh, bloody hell. Um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. It's been like quite successful, I think. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.